Hiya, I'm Jasper, and welcome to your video review for Batman. It's a Tim Burton movie starring Michael Keaton and Jack Nicholson. So, as always, I'm going to give you the good, the bad, and the furry. For the furry, nothing that I can remember. Moving on. Uh, so this movie came out in 1989, and I'm going to be honest with you. I had never seen it before. I had seen Batman Begins, Dark Knight, Dark Knight Rises, the various, like... DCEU movies that they're trying to do, uh, and the new Batman that had just come out with, uh, you know, Edward in it, so, but I'd never actually seen this Batman, and I figured, you know what, let's watch that movie, and I watched it, and I gotta say that this movie actually changes my opinion of the Batman that just came out, because this movie was about basically Jack Nicholson's character being an evil criminal and Batman trying to stop him and that's kind of what the Batman was but with a you know necessarily different villain and I think that that especially because this is like the seminal Batman like everyone is like oh this is the Batman this made Michael Keaton's career and blah 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 like it's so great um and that is what this one is it's a much smaller scale just localized it's not world ending type of thing and I think that just my perspective had gotten a little skewed with so many of the DCEU things, as well as just the Marvel Cinematic Universe, of like how a superhero story should have world-ending implications type of thing. And so I thought that that, I think that that's what I was looking for in The Batman. But when you take that part out, and you just understand that this is how Batman was, and could be, and is expected to be, that that just makes The Batman so much more so much better. So that movie, again, already had a really big thumbs up for me for just quality and, and the writing and everything else for it, but now understanding that it really does hone in on Batman's Batmiss. <laughs> Even better. So this one, uh, was fine. Um, I do not have the nostalgia boner that so many people do about this movie because I didn't see it when it first came out. I didn't see it before any of the other Batmans. I've seen a whole bunch of Batmans before. And then we're coming back to this, and I think much of it just comes down to how 80s and early 90s movies were written and made, and technology available, and the writing that was available, and the things that happened in this movie that have been duplicated and improved upon in other movies, that I don't think this is a bad movie, but this is not a movie that I would choose to watch again, because I just don't have the nostalgia connection to it. Um, so, it's good for... Like, if you liked The Batman, but you want to see how it all kind of started with much older technology and much older set design and capabilities and that sort of thing, then yeah, check this movie out. Um, but yeah, it just, it wasn't a movie for me. So I'm going to say, I'm still going to give it a thumbs up because of how The Batman was, but uh, if you don't have the nostalgia factor, uh, maybe, maybe just skip this one. It was, the other one, nice thing is that it was nice to see like the actual movie of Jack Nicholson's Joker and to see what he was like just because I like to see the different takes on the Joker and like what his inspiration is, what his like personality is, what drives him, what where he is in the in the society ladder thing. So yeah, um, good movie, but too old with how it was made for me to want to see it again. So alrighty, that's all I have for this one. Thanks for coming. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you the next one. Bye.